Welcome to John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. We're up in the UP in the Houghton Hancock area fishing for walleyes. Fleet Farm presents John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Fleet Farm, the ultimate fishing headquarters. Just a big, beautiful fish. Oh, is that awesome. Holy oh, moly! Oh, He's my God. It's a huge fish! It's a huge fish! This is amazing. <laughs> oh, awesome. my gosh. Yes, Blake, this is really one of my favorite trips of the year is coming up to the UP. And we're up in the Houghton Hancock area and the Keweenaw Peninsula. And you take a look at a map up here, folks. There's a ton of water to fish. There's Portage Lake, there's Torch Lake. Uh, you get up further on the peninsula, you've got uh, obviously Lake Superior, Copper Harbor. It's a fisherman's dream. And here we are in, in late June. And tell the folks when you come up to this area, Bring some heavy clothes. Yeah, especially in the morning. It's blowing, what, 15 right now, but hopefully the sun will come out later. Well, you get those winds off of Lake <laughs> Superior, folks, and it can be pretty chilly. But the neat thing up here, Maddie B., when we come up, this doesn't get anywhere near the fishing pressure that northern Wisconsin gets, right? No, not at all. I mean, it's only, and it's only a couple hours further north than northern Wisconsin, and it's like you're in a whole different world up here. There's not a lot of pressure. Like you said, a ton of water, great smallmouth, great walleye fishing and, and some really nice pike. You ready? I'm so ready. Hey folks, we'll show what we're using and how we're using it. All of that coming up right after this. On the water, every second counts. So when there's a fish at three o'clock, be right on time with Mega360 Imaging. Every sweep of our newest technology offers 125 feet of absolute clarity all around your boat. So you can see fish and every detail in every direction. With a clearer picture of what's below, you can catch fish like clockwork. Mega360 Imaging, only from Hummingbird. What's the difference between a good net and a great net? Simple, it's all in the features. Fortis Nets by Clam Outdoors are tough. Safe on fish. Easy to use and a telescoping handle. Learn more about Portis Nets at clamoutdoors.com. Are you ready to ride? It's time for the Yamaha Get Out and Ride sales event. Zero down, zero payments for 90 days, and 0% APR on every single Yamaha motorcycle, ATV, and side-by-side. -side. Plus, amazing customer cash offers. See your local Yamaha dealer today for huge savings. Then, get out and ride. Welcome back, folks. As I talked about at the top of the program, Houghton Hancock up in the UP, and we're going to start out with the walleyes. And I'll tell you what, Matt, it feels more like October than late June. It really does. I mean, coming off of Lake Superior right now at 15 to 20, yeah, glad we have jackets and sweatshirts on. No live bait today, folks. We didn't bother picking any up, and we're going to start out with plastics. And I have my my trusty jerk minnow on a, on a Kalen starter head. And what are you and Blake got there? Yep, I have Blake rigged up with a quarter ounce Google Eye swim bait head with the 3.8 tickle tail. And I'm going to start off with the eighth ounce Google Eye swim bait with the tickle tail. And we're see, sometimes they like a slower fall and a faster fall. So we're I like to start off with a couple different weights to see. Fish on, Dad. Boy, that didn't take long, no, Blake. I Let's hope it's like... a walleye. Let's see what we got coming in. Fifth cast, maybe? Yep. Oh, that's a nice I one, Blake. Fish. Wow, that nice. is a nice Whoa. fish. Yeah, I just was steady retrieving that tickle tail, and <laughs> I think I got her in the weeds. Nice. And yeah. So just a steady retrieve there? Yep. Nice Nicely fish. done, Blake. Woo! First one on. Isn't that a pretty, now that's a 17 inch oh, fish. And this fish is warm. So the air is so cold, and it's interesting how warm this fish is. All right, Matty B. All right, Matty B. Oh, he crunched it. Yes. All right. I got one in the back here, too. Nice I got one going in the back. We'll hold them up together. Up. I'm going to, ooh, here he is right, right there. Whoa, I, 
that's oh. fine, buddy. So what you're doing is uh, moving us spot lock for you know a couple casts and move again. Yep, I like to throw with a big wind like this, John. I like to set it up where I have the nose of the boat right into the wind. Blake and I are throwing right into the wind, and you're throwing downwind, so we keep direct point with our baits, whether you're rip jigging or Blake and I are throwing the tickle tail and reeling it real slow and ticking the top of the weed. So. Oh, did he smoke this, John? Oh, really? <laughs> and, and, and we're fishing right now in eight feet of water, folks. Eight feet. Look at this one. Oh, Look at those this. are just gorgeous. Look at this bait, aren't they, Matt. I mean, yes. I mean, just beautiful <laughs> gold, just gonzo. I mean, tickle tail. Tickle tail, inhaling it. Now tell the folks you just reel, reel that steady. Steady retrieve right over the top of these thick weeds, and uh, I'll tell you what, I'm fishing a perch color, that sunny color, so. Let's get this one back. I got one. <laughs> Woo! There we go, Matty B. This is fun, folks. And, and, and the green cabbage, as we talked about, is so key this time of year. Uh, we got 68 degree water temp, and what these do, these fish are doing, obviously, they're just swimming around these weeds and, and eating young of the year, and that is fun. He just moved us up 10 feet with the bow mount, folks, and that was the first cast. Here he is. Boy, that's fun, folks. I mean, really. I mean, oops, there we go. Ah, little guy. Yeah, those fish are warm to the touch, folks. I mean, for, for late June, it can't be more than about 53 degrees out here with a strong wind. Generally, what we're looking for, folks, uh, on some of these lakes that we haven't fished a lot is looking at the hummingbird and finding the weed edges. And uh, this is really what is prime this time of year is this type of cabbage. And you find this anywhere between 8 and 14 feet of water. And Matt, you can actually get right up in this and work it or the edge, right? Yeah, John. And what I've noticed in June a lot of times is farther north you go especially is when that wind really blows, these fish will really get shallow, three, four feet of water, so don't be afraid to go in. But a lot of times, like you said, that eight to 12 foot zone on that edge is where these fish are, are just inside, so. <laughs> this is also combat fishing. <laughs> yeah, you cast for the last guy who yep, caught one, there's right? There's gotta be a pod, you know, everywhere when someone catches one. All Ooh, right. Blakey, that's a nice one. Ooh, Ooh nice one. I don't know if I can flip her. Well, in. you gotta do the old flip trial. Well, I don't wanna lose her. Ooh, that is, Blake catches the big ones, doesn't I'll she? I'll just make yeah, Matt get she it. Does. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, and that fight, I mean, that bite is so much fun. And look at, just inhaled that bait. You know, folks, I never, ever get tired of having walleyes hit a jerk minnow like that. I mean, it's just like a tick, and it's so cool. Is that a pretty walleye, Matt? There you go, buddy. And you see, you know, I don't think they're really on the feed yet either because when they're on the feed a lot of they'll they'll hit that jerk minnow like that it'll be in their mouth that was in the that was in the top so i don't think they're extremely active yet breaking news from fleet farm berkeley flicker shad size five or seven on sale for 8.99 and berkeley flicker minnow size nine or eleven on sale for 11.99 you know, it Smoked is interesting, it. And, and you know I do this all the time, we don't bother bringing live bait, do we? No, you don't need it, John. Yeah, that's fun. And come on, get him in there, Matt. Oh, it's a half hour that. show, Just, buddy. Oh, there Ooh, he goes. Nice release. <laughs> Matty B, that is, when they hit on the drop like that and your line jumps, it's so much fun. You know that? Oh, yeah. Ooh, there we go. And most of these are, are what, 14, 15 inches, I would say? Yeah, and uh, 16. Yeah, I mean, that's that's a solid 15 right there. Yeah, when they when they hit when the jig is falling like that, you actually see your, your line will jump like that. And you know, you, you know you're going to feel it, you know? Ooh, Matty B, this one feels maybe a little better. You just can't tell because these walleyes do fight so hard. And uh, people say they don't. I'll tell you what, catching a walleye on plastic is a blast. Ooh, Matty B, look at that one there, buddy. Whoa, nice there's a good, whoa, a there we go. <laughs> That's a nice walleye. And one thing I want to talk about, folks, when you're doing this type of rip, rip jigging, how important uh, having good line to be able to detect a bite. And uh, what I am doing on my reel is running a uh, 20-pound uh, smackdown, high-vis line, so I can see my line when it hits the bottom, and also I can, I can detect a bite. 
bite with my line. And uh, when I'm rib jigging, I'm running the uh, Seaguar 12 pound fluorocarbon so I can flip fish in actually. But uh, if I'm using live bait, I'll switch that 12 pound uh, Seaguar fluorocarbon to actually about six or eight pound test. And, and Matt, you've been such an advocate of Seaguar for so long. What do you love about Seaguar line? Yeah, the super line, John, and then I've been a huge fan of the of the Seaguar Invisex fluorocarbon. It's super soft, yet super abrasion resistant and strong. And like I like you said, I like to fish the six and eight pound test, and then I'll also fish the the ten and twelve. But it's a super soft line, and uh, tie a double uni knot to the to the braid, the super line with it, and it's strong and it's going to perform in all conditions. And and I've been a fan of it for over ten years. Hooked yeah. up, hooked up. Uh, hey, we got to tell the folks who gone, what, about 45 minutes? Yeah, we definitely went down and uh, did not get a bite on a spot that we usually, where we caught a couple before. So here's a, boy, it's unbelievable how they eat these. What, you know, and that tickle tail, we really got to talk about though, that. that those appendages on there give a little bit of, vib of a vibration, don't they, Matt, and flutter when they're in the water. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the water runs down the side. So you're fishing any paddle tail, John. Um, the water runs down the side of the bait, get him that back, and uh, makes the tail, it makes the bait work. So what these appendages do is they pull more water, they grab more water, like I like to say, and the bait rocks side to side. And then that tail, we put, purposely put a smaller tail on it so it has a, a tighter, not a thumping, and that's what drives walleyes crazy, and it transfers right over into the bass world too. So it's an awesome, awesome bait. Why are you back here with me? I well, I like you, John. I mean, we, we're we're buddies. We're fishing no, buddies. No, when and... we're using spot lock, folks, the, <laughs> the, you know you gotta cast with the wind. It's the this best is a thing, good right? Fish. Is it? You this, need the this clam. This is my biggest fish you of the need day. The clam? Whatever it is. Yeah, I'd clam? say dip this one. I don't know what well, it is. Gra grab that clam. Oh, that's a nice fish. I'll that is a me. beautiful walleye there, beautiful. Matt. Beautiful. That's an yeah. eighteener. You know we're not keeping any fish today. Um, but you know, the, that well that's actually, we'd throw that one back because we're getting plenty of the 15s, right? Oh, absolutely let this one go. But look at how walleyes follow these 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 paddle tails, John, and look at that, that tickle. They come from behind and just suck it down. We were fishing in Houghton Hancock, Michigan, a five and a half hour drive from Milwaukee, six and a half hours from Chicago, and four and a half hours from Minneapolis. The updated Amsoil Fishing Report for the month of July is now live. To go watch it, all you have to do is go to amsoil.com slash MFR or go to facebook.com slash Gillespie Fishing. The Amsoil Fishing Report is awesome with great news from all the guides all over the Midwest. And guess what? You have a chance to win an Amsoil sweatshirt and hat signed by John Gillespie and a $50 Amsoil gift card. All you have to do is like this post and tag three of your fishing buddies. Good luck, everyone. The first thing that we're going to do today is attack panfish in the basin of a lake. Just gives it a little extra flavor or smell. Fishing jumbo perch in Devil's Lake, North Dakota. This is not too early to come out and catch walleyes, huh? It's never too early. This middle of May stuff for walleyes, it's cool. It's a night and day difference putting the bait made on. This is ranked as one of the top smallmouth destinations in the world. And that bait made does work, doesn't it? It does. August is a great time to come here. We're going to be targeting lake trout today. Catch more fish all year long with Baitmate Fish Attractive. Check it out at baitmate.com. There must be a lot of fish there because I casted that out, Matt, and that hit on the fall. Yeah. You know what? I didn't even do anything. John, I just missed one. Did you? Yep. Blake, come on back here and join one. the fun. Ooh, there we go, Matty B. And I went to a different color, you know, jerk minnow? Yep. I went to kind of the, that chartreuse one when the fishing slowed down. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And sometimes a different color can make a difference. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Turn to the camera and smile at the I, folks, will you? I can't get enough of this. I do not want to go home. And you know, that is an interesting point that Matt's making right now. Matt loves bass fishing. And I kind of got you into this walleye deal oh. about 10 years ago. Yeah, yeah. What do you think? Oh, it's so fun. I mean, it's just like the confidence is so high right now fishing fishing plastic for walleyes. Yeah, but I mean, it's it, walleyes are a lot of fun. You know, and you, so used to, you used to just think largemouth all the time. I always used to, th th my joke to, to, the, to any walleye angler, John, was when, when you hook them, you reel in like a wet sock because they don't pull like largemouth and smallmouth, but it's growing on me. Yeah, and that hit is so distinct. Oh, you yeah, know? I mean, they stop it dead in its tracks. This one hit 
three times, Matt. He hit yeah, on the really? drop, I missed him. Came back again and I missed him, and he came back again and I caught him. Ooh, there we go. Look Ooh, at that's this. That's a nice fish. There we go. Oh, there we go. Nice fish. Now I switched again. I, I switched to that chartreuse, folks. And again, this is the eighth, eighth ounce jig head that I'm using right here, folks. And that's when we're in spot lock. And again, if I'm casting into the wind, I size up uh, one more to a quarter ounce. As I mentioned, folks, fishing weeds anywhere from six to ten feet of water. And with the jerk minnow, what I do is I'll just cast it out like that and I'll count to three. One, two, three. That way it's just above the weeds. And then I just let it go down, give it a little jerk, let it go slack, give it a little jerk, and keep an eye on your line because a lot of times that's what you can see your line jump when you get a bite. Now with the tickle tail and the Google eye, you guys are just doing a steady retrieve up there? Yep, John, bombing it out right into the wind as far as I can throw it letting it go down for about three or four seconds and uh, keeping the rod about belt high and just a steady retrieve. And if I feel, if I tick the weeds, I'll lift my rod up a little bit and speed it up just a little bit to keep it gliding right on top of those weeds and then just keep it going. Oh, you know, Matt, uh, what I tried here, you got to come back and talk about this, is I put that Livingston crankbait on and just twitching that over the top of the weeds. And, uh, ooh, there you go. I'll tell you what, my buddy Pete Mena has caught a ton of walleyes on this bait this year. And what you do is kind of rip, rip, pause. And you, you do it for smallmouth a lot. But what this has is electronic bait sound in it. So when it pauses, it makes a sound like bait fish in distress. Here, listen. Oh, yeah, yeah isn't that cool? You can and, hear. and on the pause is almost always when they hit. You know, folks, it's a very, very special day, and I love fishing with Maddie B. And, uh, you know, a lot of people don't realize that it's your birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear fish hog. Happy birthday to you. Now, see what it says on here, folks, is happy birthday, fish hog. Yeah. That's because Manny B muscles everybody out of, out, out of the way to catch fish. Yeah. And uh, if you're in the front of the boat, he's all yeah, you fish. and all that. Nice. But happy birthday, Matt. And it, it's your, your 51st birthday? No, no, 41. Oh, well, happy birthday. Take hey, a little swirl hey, there. Very Take thoughtful. a bite with your finger. Yeah, very thoughtful. With your oh, finger there. Yeah. Oh, little walleye there. There we go, yay. <laughs> I cast it right where you did. Well, well and explain what combat fishing well, is. Well, yeah, you, you catch one, I I cast right there because I was tired of getting you guys catching all the fish, not fair. Ooh, that's another dandy right there. Okay, well, now reel down a little bit and flip up. There you go, flip, flip, yeah, oh, Blake, oh. <laughs> Well, that, now, the, now see, it seems like, you know, you, you, they're running schools of the same size. That's yeah. a beauty. I mean, us Gillespies catch the bigger ones in the boat, eh? Yeah, but <laughs> uh, how about happy birthday to Maddie yeah. B? No, fish hog. No, fish hog, that's yeah, right. That was, yeah. Look at how gorgeous the yeah, color is, are. Blake. Yeah, and what is a good eating size for walleyes? I, I like the, you know, it's usually a 15 inch size limit. Yeah. That 15 to 17 is yeah. what I like, and that's about, a too well, big. actually, that's about 17. Well done. Nice. Yay, hey. Blake, what do you got? A little guy <laughs> or what? I don't know. Oh, well, he's not uh, that no, teensy. He's not, not that bad. bad. Hold him up there, you know? <laughs> yeah, it's not bad of a fish. Right. Now time to announce this week's winners of the Fleet Farm, John Gillespie's Waters and Woods 2020 Fishing Contest. This week's first winner is Casey Cox of Rhinelander, Wisconsin, caught this 49-inch muskie on Two Sisters Lakes using a triple D. And Sue Zalewski of Plover, Wisconsin, caught this 15-and-a-half-inch perch on the Bay of Green Bay using a flicker shad. Bree Helving of Janesville, Wisconsin, boated this 12-inch bluegill on Oneida County Lake using live bait. And Dale Gearing of Northfield, Minnesota, caught the 17-inch crappie on a Walker area lake using a gypsy jig. And this week's first kid winner is Sophie Jordan of Exonia, Wisconsin, caught this 11-and-a-half-inch bluegill on her papa's pond using a worm. And Grant Venverloth of Camp Point, Illinois, caught this 15-and-a-half-inch crappie on a private pond using a worm. Each week, I shop online at FleetFarm.com to check out the latest deals. 
Check out what I found this week. Save 20% on the Seaguar 115 yard Smackdown braided fishing line on sale for $19.99. And the Beer Mountain Gourmet Blend barbecue pellets are on sale two for $15. Hey folks, taking a break in the fishing, uh, Johnson Pump not only makes reliable pumps, but they also make reliable switches. And this is something I recently learned and I figured I'd bring Wes Paul from SPX Flow Johnson Pump along and tell us more about the different types of switches. We have, you know, three different types of switches and they really are specific to your application. For instance, we have an automatic manual float switch that has metal ball technology and it's just like a pump, it goes up, turns it on, goes down. Issue with that is you get debris in your boat, in your hull, it's not a good switch because it could get stuck on or stuck off. Uh, number two is we have an electromagnetic switch. Being completely sealed, it will go on and off, up and down, uh, with no problem for debris. Number three, we have a Ultima switch that is completely electronic, mirrors field sensing technology that allows you to have a field sense when water fills up, it completes the circuit, puts your pump on, when the water goes down, the circuit goes off, and your bilge pump goes off. All right, Wes, so I'm gonna go ahead and install that Ultima switch on your recommendation, and as always, what do we say? Get Johnson pumped. The Kales Google Eye Jig features a built-in glass rattle that creates a deadly combination of sight and sound. Its shockwave rattle system has been designed to call fish in. The lifelike rattle reflects the light and adds a dimension like no other. Available in two styles and 13 colors. Nice. Oh, Matty B, did going you? Going back to what we said about fishing the Oh, here, let me get out of your way here. I don't want to get slapped in the head with a walleye. <laughs> oh, what did you do? Change baits? Yeah, I changed up to the tickle grub, John. Like we said earlier, we know there's schools of fish in these pot and these weed clumps, big weed clumps. And I came through tickle tail, tickle tail, caught a ton of fish. You've been jerk minnow. Blake and I have been tickle tailing with the paddle tail. So that's that's actually like the regular tailings grub, but it's got those little appendages. Huh? Exactly. And what that does is that moves a lot of water, and the tail action is much slower on this because the water, the the balls are grabbing so much water. So it's I've been creeping it real slow through the weeds and uh, got a walleye on it. Again, slowing down that cadence, folks, makes a big difference. And what amazes me too is we've caught a lot of these walleyes. Here he is. We've caught a lot of these walleyes right smack dab in the middle of the day in this yep. shallow water. There was another walleye following that guy. Yeah, isn't that a nice one, Matt? Beauty. Yeah. Beauty. And that, that, I was casting towards shore, so basically that fish was probably sitting in, what, four or five yeah, feet Yeah, there's water? no doubt. They're in these weeds just eating minnows, folks. And remember that, folks, you know, yeah, in the summertime you get to, you know, into July and August, you're going to have your fish on deep rocks, but don't forget, especially in the morning and the evening, to try the weed beds in shallow water, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's right after my cast, isn't it? The yep. little one I just caught. I changed up tickle tail colors. I, I just grabbed the new color, John. We came right, literally turned back around and came right back down this thing. We both just caught one that quick. Nice one. Yeah. I totally changed up. I went to a gold Google Eye quarter ounce. So you're saying if you go over the same spot several times is, is, is change the way you go through the spot and change colors. Yeah, change, change, change colors and also hit it from different angles. Come into the wind drift with it, come on an angle, uh, casting direction, a lot of that makes a big difference that I've noticed throughout, but that's a beautiful 17-inch walleye. Hey, you know what next Saturday is? Next Saturday is the 4th of July, <laughs> and, and what does that mean at the Pashanich household? Oh, the, the charcoal grill at Johnsonville is be on fire. Okay, I've got today, well, I've got both regular brats and Italians today, but what I'm going to cook for you are the Johnsonville Italians, and they are magnificent. You know, they're one of the best Italian sausages in the USA, if not the the best. Key with the Johnsonville Italians really folks, put them on medium heat and every four or five minutes give them a turn. You don't want to get the grill too hot, you know, so they explode. Right. But yeah, it takes about 15 to 20 minutes when they're golden brown, they are ready to go. Oh yeah. Isn't that outstanding? Little kick, I love it. Hey folks, look for Johnsonville Italians at your favorite retailer today. Oh, man, you saw that line jump, that, didn't you? I didn't even get the bite, and I got excited. Yeah, I mean, that was like, boom, you know, <laughs> really cool. Ooh, Matty B. Another Blakey, good look at that guy. Wow, nice. that is a nice fish. Oh, the old flipperoo. Yeah. 
I'm well, going to have to get back to fishing. Yeah, it's like, no kidding. You're sitting there eating a salad. And <laughs> for like five minutes. And look at that, though. Again, that, that is awesome. The we're, T-bone. Oh, yeah, we're, we are now, right yes. now, Blake, I think these fish are feeding. Yes, they have you know? to be. Yeah. I mean, when they go in that far that quick, get your rod. I'm going to. Oh, oh, that never gets old, boy. And we got to tell the folks that we've caught all these fish in, what, about five hours? Five hours of just ripping lips. <laughs> ripping lips, I love that saying. Look at that beautiful fish. Yeah, oh, that's oh, a, that's, that, now that's that. the perfect that's year right there. That's beauty right there. Almost makes you sad that we're not keeping a few, you know? I know, geez, we're, we're being nice to these buggers. Today. Now, now your kids, Gabby and Jake, they love fish, don't they? Oh, love fresh family fish fries, absolutely. The Kalen's Google Eye Swing Head features a wide base with a built-in glass rattle that puts off a lot of vibration and noise under the water. And the wide base allows it to not get snagged as much along the bottom. Check this out in three sizes and three colors. Uh, oh, Pete, I'm getting too old for this. So John, you haven't heard of Brian's Custom Steps? Oh, Pete, those are awesome. How can I get it set? Yeah, I love these big no-slip platforms and they're made right here in Wisconsin. For more information on Brian's Custom Steps, call 920-315-0333. From the kennel to the coop, whatever the season, Fleet Farm has everything to keep your animals happy and healthy. Whether it's keeping the backyard birds well-fed season, mastering those retrieval skills season, or wondering who takes care of who season, there's a reason people say if Fleet Farm doesn't have it, you don't need it, because we have it all. Fleet Farm, built for real life. Well, we're going to head home, Blake, but uh, always love coming up here to the Houghton Hancock area. How many do you think we caught today? At least 50. That was an amazing day. Yeah, and we only fished like seven hours, but a great time. Folks, yeah. get up here and enjoy the Houghton Hancock area. A lot of water to fish. And folks, that is our show for today. Please join us next week. I don't know we're going to fish yet, but we'll find a place somewhere. Until then, I'm John Gillespie. And I'm Blake Gillespie. Hoping to see you enjoying John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Hey!